ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Well, today I decided to do an Asport Cider Review, but I've actually got a choice of three, and I didn't really know which one I wanted to do, so I left it up to my girlfriend to uh, choose for me, and she's decided to go for this one right here. I am trying out their mulled cider today. So how will this one fare with the other Aspel range of ciders? Well, as usual, we'll be finding out soon. Until then, let's get the dish on Aspel mulled cider. Aspel mulled cider is available in these 500ml glass bottles, which is the only way that you can buy it as well. The alcohol percentage is 4.7% ABV, and obviously being a mulled cider, it doesn't have any tasting notes on the back. Uh, the price is about, you know, average for an Aspel cider. It's around about £2.99 for this bottle. So, how does it stack up to the other mulled ciders I've tried? We're going to find out. So, uh, yeah, Asphalt Mold Cider. I think this only came out um, last Christmas. I haven't seen it any other times. And obviously, with it being a seasonal thing, you probably won't be able to um, get it anymore. Or you might be able to. You never know. Um, but it's a good thing like, if they release it over next Christmas. If it's good, then, you know, maybe go out and get a bottle. Anyway, you, you've all seen the Asphalt bottles before. They look like this. So, uh, on the back, it says... Warmed spiced cider is traditionally enjoyed every year at Aspel by family and friends on bonfire night. Taste descriptor. I uh, don't really want to read that at the moment. Serving station. Delicious. Served warm with a slice of orange. Chilled. It makes a lovely aperitif or partner for rich cheesecake or steamed pudding with custard. Um, and this is why I always do mulled ciders cold and warm. Um, because some of, some of them do say that you can have them cold which this one does. As I said, I don't want to look at the taste descriptors um, because, you know, that might cloud my mind and, you know, it won't be as unbiased of a review if I know what, like, the aromas and stuff are going to be like anyway. You know, in fact, they go into a, a huge, like, description of it. But I'd imagine it's probably going to smell and taste like most of the other mulled ciders out there anyway. So let's get this old top off. And let's uh, see what I smell off the neck. Well, massive hits of um, cloves, ginger, and uh, yeah, real, real hit of uh, cinnamon as well. Very uh, spicy nose. They're a lot more spicier than some of the other mulled ciders that I've uh, tried. Hmm, does actually smell rather nice on the nose. Um, I'm just going to be pouring a little bit out into the glass um, at the moment. So let's just get it poured out so you can see what the colour is going to be like. There we go. That's about... That's about it. And um, it actually looks a lot like a, um, a, a brandy of some sorts, doesn't it? Deep, like, dark brownie sort of colour. Chestnutty, I'd say so. Um, very, very, very different in colour than uh, most traditional um, ciders out there. But actually, yeah, looks very, very nice. No carbonation, as you can see. Completely still. Um, so, any more smells off the glass? Still um, getting those massive um, ginger notes. Very, yeah, still very, very spiced. Slight hint of um, nutmeg as well now, uh, just to add to the other aromas that were coming off the neck. Mmm, it does smell really, really nice. So I'm hoping it does actually taste as nice as it smells, but I'm going to find out now, aren't I? Cheers, guys. Here's to um, Aspel take on their mulled cider. Very sweet on the initial taste. Hmm. None of the um, none of the aromas on the nose are actually in the taste, as far as I'm aware. Let's uh, get another one. It tastes um, a lot more citric now. Um, getting more like uh, like fresh citrus fruits, like uh, oranges, uh, orange peel. A uh, slight hint of lemon in it as well, actually. Um, the ginger is still in the taste, as it was on the nose, but all the other um, spicy notes that you get on the nose, they're not really um, in the taste. Completely different uh, to what it smells like, definitely. Hmm. 
but overall, actually not that bad. Um, it doesn't taste like a mulled cider just yet. Um, I would imagine that it probably will taste a little bit more like it once I've actually got it heated up. But um, actually, cold, it tastes quite nice. It's, um, yeah, it's definitely different. Uh, I would say it's just more of a... I don't know, it, it tastes almost like a, a little, like a, a spirit or something. I, re I had a, a pomo uh, a little while ago, which is uh, kind of like in the middle between a cider and a cider brandy. It kind of tastes a little bit like that. It's quite um, smooth on the texture as well. Let's just uh, finish this one off. Hmm. Yeah, quite a lot of flavours. Um, especially with it being um, still as well. Uh, sometimes still ciders don't really have as much flavour as uh, sparkling ones, of course. I've had a lot more now um, since I first said that and, you know, that's not really the case anymore. But, um, yeah, cold is quite nice. So, I'm just going to cut away and get this, um, oh, get this uh, little thing heated up and we'll see if it tastes any different. Back in a mo. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, nice old, uh, like, steam ring on there so you can see it's nicely um, heated up and you can really see the colour now um, really does look like a um, a nice like brown ale almost really lovely colour um, but the smells are uh, uh, again kind of dissipated now a little bit um, you get you are getting more of the cinnamon more of the um, cloves a bit of the nutmeg now um, so all like those um, you know, that those spicy nuts are still there, but just a little bit more subdued. So, uh, well, before it gets too gold, I'm going to try it warm. So, uh, once again, cheers, guys. Let's see what Aspen Mold Cider tastes like warm. Hmm. Wow. It tastes um, even sweeter. Um, than it did when it was cold. Uh, let's get another one. Hmm. Strangely enough, I'm now getting um, like hints of red fruits, uh, red berries uh, on the taste. Um, still a little bit of uh, the ginger hit uh, that you get on the nose as well. Hmm. That's not bad at all, actually. I quite like that. Um, it actually... It, it tastes better because it isn't sparkling. Like the, um, the, the Heil Apfel Glühwein that I had, that was sparkling. And I don't, know what it, I don't know if it was, you know, the case or not, but I felt that because it was carbonated, it actually did detract away from the taste a little bit. Um, whether due to it, like, being... Uh, like heated up the, the you know the carbonation took away the flavors or something but either way it, it kind of lost a lot of its flavor when once it got warmed up but um Aspel's mulled cider has definitely still kept all those tastes and all those uh, flavors and it's just really smooth really easy to drink um and yeah i would actually say it's definitely um good to have either warm or cold so uh you know take your pick whatever you want to do so uh, well let's go in for a final taste before the final verdict Hmm. Yep, getting those hints of um, orange on the taste as well. Uh, very um, full body texture behind it as well. It it's it's a really really nice mulled cider. Um, I would yeah I would probably say it's one of the better mulled ciders out there that I have actually tried. Um, I have still got another two to try uh, in my drinks cabinet, but for the time being, yeah, this is um, definitely one of the better ones out there. So. I'm actually going to have to cut away because I've uh, left the bottle on the side. In fact, you know, you've seen it before. What the hey. For a final verdict, I'm just going to show you this glass, but Aspel's Mulled Cider, cold and warm, both get a 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, take your pick whether you want it cold or warm because the tastes are completely different from each other, but they're still equally as as good as each other. So it all depends on whether you uh, want to be warmed up on a cold winter's night as it is at the moment, or if you just want to have it, you know, sipping as it says at the dinner table or something. It's good either way. 
So there we go, another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, I'm going to warm myself up with the rest of this asphalt mulled cider. So, take care guys, until next time.